This is your host, Sapnan Bhartia, and we are here at Open Source Summit in Bilbao, Spain. And today we have with us Christophe Shutier, Lead of Training and Certification at CNCF. Christophe, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks a lot for having me here. Since you are Lead of Training and Certification at uh, CNCF, talk a bit about what does this role mean? My daily job is to define and implement the strategy that we have for training and certification. As you know, the CNCF currently has 172 projects and still going higher and higher. And um, we need to make sure that this reality of the diversity of projects that we have tend to reflect on the training and certification that we can offer. And we want to make sure that when someone wants to take a cloning certification, it's not just Kubernetes one, but it's something around Kubernetes too. So that's what I'm working on. When we look at a lot of these cloud native technologies, especially they are all open source, we can talk about HTO, we can talk about Linkerd, we can talk, I mean, as I said, it's a lot. Open source organizations, you know, can just pull it from the GitHub, their vendors also start using it. What is the importance of training and certification, not only for developers who are offering that, at the same time, organizations who are leveraging these technologies? When you ask someone, you want to be sure that this person will help you to leverage your knowledge, will help you to improve your development, improve your infrastructure. So it's important for companies to have people who are used to the latest development, who are used to the latest technologies, latest software, latest projects. So basically you need to f have a, a training on that. And um, having a training is good. It's really something good, but being able to prove that in a vendor neutral way is even better. And all our certifications are vendor neutral. So it means that when we are developing a certification, we are not just developing a, a certification for one product, but we are developing a certification which is, which has been, sorry, developed by many person from different companies, so with different expertise, different approach to the project themselves. So that's why it's important because they reflect this diversity too. What role does this training and certification plays in ensuring that, hey, you know what, if somebody is saying that, yes, they know HTO or they know this, they actually do. We just released a micro survey. Um, we call that a micro survey because it's not uh, it doesn't have as many respondents that we ha usually have for a real survey that we are doing currently for the state of the cloud native ecosystem. So the micro survey that we did was over three months. We got um, a bit more than 130 responders, which is not that low for micro survey, let's say. And um, we realized that the developers are really looking to get training and certification. Um, I think something like about 60% of the respondents mentioned that thanks to having training and certs, they've been able to get a new job. And also uh, a bit more than that, a bit two thirds of the respondents felt that they were more comfortable with their own job, uh, at their daily job, thanks to a new training, a new certification. So it's really important to get in mind that, okay, having a new, passing a new certification, taking a new, cert, a new training will help you get a better job and to be more comfortable with it. And that's what people are really experiencing. And I'm not only mentioning the pay raise, I think 40% of them said that this training and certs helped them to get a pay raise, which I think is quite noticeable, but so it's important for the people to take those, but it's also important for uh, companies, like we said, um, especially today when we know that sometimes company had to face some hard time, um, being able to upskill your current uh, employee is important because if you have some, yeah, if you're facing some lower work, uh, being able to ask your employee to do something that will help them progress their career is something that we all want to. Anything 
else that stands out you know from the outcome of this micro survey oh yes um i won't say we've been surprised but uh, people mentioned that they were facing some issues to get their training and the certification paid by the employer and um, I think it was something like 80% of the responder said that they didn't have the time allowed by the employee to take training or such. And that's a lot. I mean, 8% out of 10. Um, and on the, on the other side, they also mentioned that they will be more loyal to the employer if they were feeling supported on training and such. So if the employee was okay to pay for that, and I think it's really important today, especially, you know, we're living in a different world. We're living in the post-COVID world where people are working from home or mostly. Uh, and so you need to find some way to get your, the, your best employee attracted and concerned by your current company. And you don't want them to leave. So if there is a way here to help your employee to stay there, I mean, it's important to figure it out. And this is really one of the big uh, outcomes that we got from the survey. When it comes to training and certification, do you have any data? What are the projects which are getting a lot of attention where folks are like, they're like kind of looking for where you see, oh, the response for this training, this certification is, is of course, Kubernetes is a big one, but I want to talk about other projects also. Kubernetes is the main one. Yes, we all agree on that. But as I said, on my daily job, I need to figure out what will be the next big things or what will be the things we want to put under the spotlight a bit. And um, yes, we are clearly developing this culture of um, thinking beyond Kubernetes. Uh, you know, um, the big event around Kubernetes was KubeCon and we decided to change that to KubeCon plus CloudNativeCon. So that was a big move to mention that, okay, there is something around Kubernetes. And so for certification, we felt the same. And um, we used to have all these famous uh, Kubernetes certification. They're still there. They are improved, updated, of course, all the time. Uh, but we are announcing new certification. We just announced actually today a new certification on Istio. You know, Istio has been, uh, under the spotlight for uh, some time. Uh, we all know the story behind that. And, um, but it's just graduated too. And it's important for us to support such exams. So starting today, you can buy your own uh, Istio certification that will help you to show your knowledge on that. And is this certification training available only for the project which are graduated or no, is it's no, available it's all the, it could be incubation or depending on the demand? It's more our vision and we are more relying on our vision and also the velocity around the project. We cannot, it's impossible for us to deliver training and search on all the projects at the same time, but we are, we are working hard on that and um, we will be able to announce more certification and more training in Chicago for our next KubeCon and CloudNativeCon. Um, but yes, we try not to look at, of, of, to just look at the maturity level of the project. Of course, it's complicated to do something on the Sandbox project because there are so many, but um, we, yeah, we continue to work on that for, for graduated and incubated, yes. Uh, can you also talk a bit about the, the, I'm not, when I say the word format, I'm not exactly talking about the format of the, uh, the training solution, but what I'm talking about the, because the adoption of these cloud native technologies is global. Uh, folks use different languages. They're in different parts of the world. Uh, some may be employees, some may be students, some may be CTOs. So can you talk about uh, the, the, how you're making it more accessible? All our, our training and certs are basically in English, but we are doing some efforts to translate some of them um, especially we have some of them we can be taken in Japanese although in Chinese so we try to yeah you know doing things one of the time uh, because translating is taking a lot of time but also you have to keep in mind that doing a certification or doing a training is not just a one-shot work because we have to update that um, by instance 
we mentioned the Kubernetes certification. Uh, we have a, a, re a requirement, let's say that this way, that three weeks after a new release of Kubernetes, I think it's three weeks, uh, something like that, um, the certification will be updated to that. So if we need to change that for all the languages, you can imagine how time consuming it will be. And we all know that when you are working on such a vibrant and fast moving ecosystem, such as the cloud native world, um, at some point you need to l be able to read at least a bit of English, technological English. So that's why, okay, we do that. We do everything in English first, but for some, for, yeah, for some cases, we try to translate them. And like I said, uh, Japanese and Chinese are the main thing we are doing. And, but if you really want to learn about the essentials about cloud native and everything, there is a huge initiative, yeah, there's a great initiative from the CNCF and the community about the glossary. Uh, so you have a full glossary in English, but also which is translated. We just announced, I'm just saying that because I'm part of the guy who do that. We just announced the translation in French a few days ago, but we have, I think, 10 or 11 languages uh, for the glossary chat translated. And I think it's a good way to, you know, spread the good word and help people understand how things are done by such a little definition. Christoph, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about, of course, this microsurvey and actually larger role that training a certification is playing. As you said, uh, fortunately more loyal if companies you know, enable them to get trained. It's, it's better, sometimes a lot of companies uh, feel that if you train your employee, they may leave the company, but you know, it, it's the challenge is you know, if you don't train them, <laughs> how good they are for you either way. Exactly. So, so it's, it's, it's a very good approach. Thank you so much. And I would love to chat with you again whenever new updates on the, the project is. Thank I you. I would be really happy to. And thanks a lot for having me here today.